we just had a cat show up that looks exactly like our other cat. What's going on? Look, see, this is our cat, Odie, right here. And this is an orange cat with almost the same exact markings. That, hey, be nice, friends. Be nice. But look, come here, kitty, 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 kitty. Look, see, they have the same white markings on their chest. How cute is that? Hey, y'all. Welcome back to my channel, and welcome to day 24 of Vlogmas. It is Christmas Eve. I can't believe it. It doesn't feel like Christmas Eve. However, me and my mom have been in the kitchen cooking, and now we are getting everything ready for our Christmas Eve dinner. I am starting this vlog super late in the day. It's like almost three o'clock. At four o'clock, we're going to see my cousins in their little church play, go to a Christmas Eve service, and then we'll have a feast here at home. So I am going to show you what my mom is preparing because it's going to be yummy. Okay, so one of the things I'm cooking tonight is a, <laughs> there you go. Let me turn the pie off. So what I have in here is, let me see, I'm just gonna show you all this. Every good cook has to have some tricks to use every once in a while when you're in a hurry. So this is a Marie Callender's Razzleberry Fruit Pie, and if you've not tried this pie, it is absolutely one of my favorites. They sell out way before the holidays. Um, but we don't have berries that grow really well down in Texas. They all have to be brought in anyway. So I love this raspberry pie. I made some stuffed mashed potatoes. So we're gonna serve those tonight, these stuffed mashed potatoes. And again, um, see, this is my other trick. What'd you stuff them with? So I bought Bob Evans, huh, their stuff or their mashed potatoes. So I bought them already made and I just pretended uh, like I wanted to eat a baked potato. So what do you put in a baked potato? Sour cream and butter. Um, cheese. Cheese and bacon bits. bacon bits and green onions. So they are all going in the oven to be cooked as stuffed potatoes. And we're gonna have that later. And our the big thing we're gonna have is a prime rib. So I'm getting ready right now to put the prime Ooh. rib in the rotisserie, but I'm coating it with some butter and some um, seasoned rub, this Texas Prime H-E-B coarse seasoning rub, and a whole bunch of garlic that's chopped up. So I'm, I'm mushing this all together and I'm getting ready to rub it on my roast. So um, this is the butter, the garlic, and, and the um, seasoning. seasoning. And I'm just, what I'm doing is I have this nice Nolan Ryan uh, boneless rib roast and I am coating the seasoning on it, and then I'm gonna put it in my rotisserie and let it cook for several hours while we're at church. Mmm, it's going to be delicious. I'm so excited for this. And we have this rotisserie that we use. It'll go a little skewer through the middle, and it's just gonna spin for a couple of hours. And as always, there's an entourage, making sure you don't drop anything on the floor. Here. So here's my mom sticking the meat through the little skewers that's going to go in the rotisserie. All right, so we've gotten the roast in the rotisserie and basically we're just going to figure out how many hours we need to roast it for a seven pound roast. It says 18 minutes per pound, so whatever 18 times seven is is probably what we're gonna have it cooking in here for. We'll put the lid on it. It'll start heating up, rotisserie. Oh, and it's gonna be so good. I had these green beans at a party the other night and they were a hit for my friend, um, Sharon Stickler gave me this recipe. And so we're gonna try them here at my house tonight. So I took these fresh green beans. She used canned, but I had fresh. So I stuck them in the microwave for a few minutes. Just, just took them out of the bag, put them in a pan, stuck them in the microwave so that they get a little bit cooked. And her recipe was for brown sugar. So y'all, we know this is gonna be good. Somebody, I think on one of your videos, they said we wouldn't be able to eat at your house because you use so much butter. But uh, butter. How much of butter? A cup of butter. How much brown sugar? A cup of brown <laughs> sugar. I just sprinkled everything with garlic salt and it said a teaspoon of soy sauce. That's probably it. 
and I'm just going to stir all this up. I am going to put it in the oven and let it bake for 30 minutes. And in the meantime, I'm going to fry up some bacon to put on the top of it. Yum. So interesting. I had never had green beans cook like this, but at the party the other night, people just raved over these green beans. They were so delicious. So um, I figure I'll just make them for us tonight to go with that rib roast. Again, something quick and easy because it's been a busy day of wrapping presents and last minute prep and um, I'm going to church and we're gonna have dinner ready when we get back. Now she's just putting it into a pan and I guess you're gonna cook it. So I'm gonna just bake it when I bake those potatoes. We are about to head to church for the Christmas Eve service, but I thought I would do a quick OOTD, an outfit of the day, show you what I'm wearing. So my dress, I think I showed it to y'all when I bought it. I got it at JC Penney's. When I bought it, it was originally like $38. And I just looked it up online because there's a red color in it too. And I just love this dress. And it's on sale for $13.99. I will link it down below in the description if it's still available because I am buying the other color of this. I think it's for juniors, but it's just so cute and I love it. So here. This is what it looks like. It's this cute little stripy dress. I love it. This is what it looks like. It's got these bell sleeves on it and I love it. And then I'm wearing, okay, how do I do this and not be unladylike? I am wearing my lucky booties. Ooh, super fresh. If I can find them, I'll link those two down below. But this is my outfit. Super cute, super fashionable, stylish. I know. All right, so now we are going to head to church, go see my cousins do their little Christmas play and it should be super cute. So I will check in with y'all here in just a little while. So here's your mama Haddon, Trisha Woodburn, and me, your mama. And, and you, of course. And we're heading in to St. John's Catholic Church to the services for our nephews are all in the Christmas pageant today. So that's where we're going right now to go watch. We just got home from church. It was a wonderful Christmas Eve service. And now it is time to start getting all the food ready. And oh my gosh, this roast smells fabulous. So this morning when we were looking for our other cat, I was yelling, here kitty, 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 kitty. And uh, this cat showed up out of nowhere. He just ran across the street and he looks exactly like our kitty Otis. Come here kitty, 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 kitty. But he's very young. And now he won't leave our house and our cats do not like him. So that's what's going on right now. We're giving him some pets. Want to see something very pathetic? This little kitty is looking in our window. Oh my gosh, this is the most pathetic thing I've ever seen in my entire life. All right, we are working on dinner currently. They just cut up the lettuce for some wedge salads, cut up some tomatoes. I'm guessing this is onions and mushrooms for the meat. Oh gosh. Then in the oven, we've got the Ooh. loaded mashed potatoes. Yum. Mm. And my little beggar boy, as always. The roast just got pulled out of the rotisserie and it looks delicious. It's a little bit crispy right here, but I think that'll taste delicious anyways. Well, hey, this is Trisha and I'm Catherine's grandmother and I would be her mother, Lisa's mother. And I wanted to tell you a little bit about some of the jewelry that I have on tonight. If you come and look at this beautiful necklace, my mother would be um, 100 this year and when she was 20 my dad bought this for her so this piece of jewelry is 80 years old and some of the stones were missing and i had them uh, replaced so you'll see those and then i had the original chain replaced with a little cord and then the earrings were given to me by a special friend those that are belonged pretty. to his wife. Mm -hmm. And they he remembered that they matched my mother's necklace. So I only wear these the at Christmas. 
and I'm so glad that Catherine wanted to ask about them. And then if you look on my lapel. Other side. On this left side. <laughs> <laughs> if you look, uh, the little diamond uh, oval piece was a ring that I had given my mother. And I had it turned into a stick pin. And then the other one is my initials, TW, that I've had for probably 40 years. So these are sort of my signature pieces that I wear at the Christmas holidays. Isn't she cute? This is my grandma, y'all. <laughs> Spitting image of my mother over here. Wherever she is, I don't know. We have dad over here now carving the roast. We have the meat that dad carved and it looks delicious and perfectly cooked. We've got the mushrooms and onions. We've got the green beans. And lastly, we've got these loaded mashed potatoes. Oh, we also have wedge salads over here. So it's gonna be really, really good. I made these to go with it. I have horseradish sauce, green beans, stuffed potatoes, there's some bread, and there's that horseradish. Can you put together salad? Yeah. What do you put the horseradish on? The meat. Oh, okay. Wow, that looks amazing. Yeah, whatever you do. Right up. You like blue cheese, right? Yeah, we got I can't either. You can't believe what? It's Christmas Eve. It doesn't feel like it. Same. Me and my mom are currently peeling some parsnips. She found this recipe that is parsnips and spinach. Is that right? Yep. And so we are peeling parsnips and I guess she is going to make this recipe tomorrow for Christmas dinner. Trying something new. Trying something new this year. I don't know if I've ever had a parsnip, but they <laughs> smell very earthy. Right now we figured out you peel it like a carrot. Yep. Once everyone left tonight, mom got back to work cooking. So mama is over here with her festive bottle of wine and she is cutting up the parsnips. Super fun. What did you say mama with your wine? All good cooks need a good glass of wine. That's true. All right, come over here. And then my mom is over here. Are you making rice dressing? So I'm going to make a rice dressing with some shortcuts. So if you look up a recipe for rice dressing, you're going to see a whole bunch. But tonight I'm using some shortcuts. Um, again, it's Cajun food. So it starts with that Trinity. And I, I buy this Cajun style celery, bell pepper, and uh, green onions. So I'm getting ready to saute that in butter right now. How much butter? I put two sticks of butter in and I'm using two bags of these vegetables. Two bags of this Cajun style Mirapoi blend. Is that how it is? I have no idea how to say it. I don't know. We tried. All right. So she's got the veggies in there with the butter. I'm getting ready to throw in some garlic too. I'm going to make it a little more. Did two spoonfuls of garlic in there. So I'm just going to saute this in the um, until it gets translucent and ready to add to the dressing. While that's cooking, I'm going to start getting everything else ready. So earlier tonight, while I was cooking that prime rib, I made up a batch of rice. So some recipes you can pre-cook the rice. Some recipes you. Um, you use rice that's already cooked. And my recipe tonight is gonna be rice that's already cooked because I am taking a few shortcuts. Also, um, so this is what my grandmother would do. She put in some old stale French bread. So I bought this herb season classic stuffing mix. It's different than that cornbread one I've used before. So this is the classic herb season from Petridge Farm. So I'm gonna mix that in there with it. So that's going to be a part of it. Then I'm going to add... Oh, that butter smells good. It does smell good, doesn't it? I'm going to add some ground sausage. A ground, uh, pre-cooked a pound of ground sausage and a pound of ground beef. So um, the other thing I did is I, have, I put boiled eggs in here. This was something my grandmother always made. It was a rice dressing and it is so loaded with meat. It really is a meal all in itself. So I put four boiled eggs that were chopped up. You got that? Yeah, I got it. Don't burn yourself. I've got the um, 
Trinity mix. The Trinity mix with the garlic added to it. And now if I was making this just for us, I probably would have boiled some chicken livers and gizzards or my grandmother would use a boiled chicken that was off the bone and chopped up. But instead I have that turkey carcass that was left over from Thanksgiving and I boiled that turkey carcass and got all the meat off the bone. And I'm gonna pour that, um, the meat and the juices in there. So that's gonna be my poultry. And I'm just gonna mix it all up. And I know it looks gross, but it, it just came out of the freezer. So it's still full of a little ice, but I'm gonna use that as the juice. And it's gonna add, add the meat that could be chicken, like I said white meat chicken, chicken livers, um, livers and gizzards, just depending on where you are and what your what your uh, preference is. And this is gonna make one big old pot of rice dressing. Mm -hmm. Do you need me to help stir that? Yeah, I really would like you to help stir it up, please. I'm just gonna add some tonings that Catherine's gonna stir in here for me in a minute. Y'all see, I'm just shaking it across the top because there's a lot of stuff this tonings needs to mix with. There you go. Ooh, my arm is getting in a workout mixing this stuff. Oh my lord. Uh, tonight I'm just going to put it in a container and let just all the flavors sit there and gel overnight. And then tomorrow I'll spread it in a big baking pan and, and bake it. Uh, probably 350 for about 45 minutes. Well, after loading it up, I remembered that I had chopped up a whole bunch of green onions that are supposed to go in there. So I'm gonna add the green onions. I'm gonna mix it up one more time. I'm gonna stir it all up in there and then I'm gonna um, put it back in, in, the, in the Tupperware until tomorrow. We just found out that parsnips will turn brown overnight since we peeled them. And so we have them browning in some butter. My mom is over here cutting up some shallots. I'm just gonna do the start of the recipe. Um, only because I don't want the parsnips to turn color. So I'll get the recipe started and I'll finish it tomorrow morning. Mom is now adding a teaspoon of fresh thyme. And then we'll use a cup of broth and we'll cook all of this together for the parsnips to soften. And then I'll put them in the refrigerator and save until tomorrow and we'll finish it tomorrow. So we used this better than bouillon for the chicken broth that she needs. You just mix a teaspoon of it with some water and you've got broth. And over here we have two kittens attacking each other. They are not kittens anymore. They're big fat kittens. Big old fat kittens, right? Mm-hmm, yeah. What is it? Okay, he just bopped my camera. The kitten is outside. He just was came in and looked in the back door and our cats are not very happy about it. Little guy, where'd he go? What do y'all think? Can y'all please be nice to the little baby? Can y'all please be nice to the little baby? Hey guys, I just wanted to sit down and have a little bit of a chat real quick before I close out the video. So it is currently 1242 in the morning, so it's technically Christmas. Merry Christmas. And today was a whirlwind of a day. I am just flat out exhausted. I should have been asleep like two hours ago. Why am I up at nearly 1 a.m.? I don't know. But this morning was off to a weird start. Last night, I did not sleep very well because we noticed right before we went to bed that one of our cats was missing, our white cat Finn. None of us had seen him when we got home from the play and we couldn't find him. We were calling for him. So last night, I kept getting up in the middle of the night calling for him and he never showed up. So this morning when I woke up, I was back outside looking for my kitty because that kitty is like the best kitty ever. So we were very upset about losing him. And so I was outside and I'm yelling, here kitty, 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 kitty. And all of a sudden this cat runs out of nowhere. And I thought it was my kitty Odie, which is our orange kitty. And I was like, Odie, don't run across the street. And I realized 
it's not our cat, but they look exactly the same. It's this little young orange kitty. I think it might be a female though. I'm not entirely sure, but ever since she came and got love from us, she won't leave our house. So all day long, she has been sitting outside meowing by our front door. But earlier I opened up the front door and she ran in like she was right at home. However, all three of my cats do not like this new little kitty who has shown up. They have all been stalking it all day. They keep running it off of our property and I feel so bad because we couldn't keep it inside tonight. I mean, I don't have like a litter box in my room. I couldn't really accommodate it tonight. But I did leave it food and water and a bed out front and hopefully, actually I'm guessing that that kitty will be there bright and early in the morning being like, hello, I need your love. But I have rambled on long enough. It has been a great December. I can't believe tomorrow is Christmas and I need to get some sleep. So. I hope that you guys enjoyed Vlogmas Day 24. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel down below. And I will see y'all again real soon with another video. Bye guys! Mm -hmm.